Look, what's going on here is acclimation, is conditioning, is incrementalism. And the globalists are masters at just slowly bringing in things, slowly turning the heat up until you're like, oh, yeah, everybody's heard about the Russian troops. Everybody's heard about the TSA checkpoints on the highways. Yeah, everybody's heard, everybody's, gone, everybody's had the cops pull up to each boat on the lake and bug their eyes out and act rude, and we all cower, and the cops all see that and think, watch how you act towards people, you little scum. This is all so they can take our bank accounts, shut our industry down, break us financially. This is a military, foreign, corporate, British East India Company style takeover. We're under total siege. And the cops, they're under attack. The military's under attack. Look at how they say veterans are the number one terror threat. That tells you who the government is. The government has been totally taken over at the federal level. And the good part about this show is to put it all in perspective as a think tank for even members of Congress, a bunch of them, listen. A lot of them listen. And I get congressmen on, they go, I was listening to your show yesterday about the more people dying from honeybee stings than die from terrorism. I called another congressperson, well, we listened, we heard you two days ago, but, you know, we're not doing interviews right now. You know, we're afraid to come on. And everybody just stands around going, it's kind of crazy you talk about Russian troops in America. It's kind of crazy you talk about, you know, billions of bullets and the training manual saying it's for gun owners. Well, it says that. The government is arming and training against us and then having drills where they train to take us on with foreign troops. I mean, the first time I went to one of these drills and everything the old timers had told me was all true, including Raymond Teague, who was telling me all this stuff and I didn't completely believe it. And then it all came true because he worked in Air Force intelligence with access to all the NSA stuff. And then he worked in other classified areas. And again, these guys would then go and warn people, uh, there's a plan to bring in foreign troops. Oh, that guy's crazy. No, they saw it. They were there before we were, before it was rolled out against us. I'm going to come back and do some overdrive. Some stations carry it, others don't. Infowars.com forward slash show. I want to get into this video that's up on Infowars.com. Uh, the guy videotaping police, there's a whole bunch of them. He's like 60 yards away. They come over and say, turn around, I'm putting you in handcuffs for filming us. And then it looks like one of the cops punches him in the face. And the guy's dog jumps out of his car and runs over and they shoot it. And the cops are usual saying, well, this is a great thing because you're in Fallujah, folks. And now the CPS is coming in people's houses for no reason and saying they're going to take your kids without even having a reason to do it. It's insane. As I end this hour, please spread the word about the broadcast. We're going 110% against the New World Order. And please support our sponsors like eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. There's only a few days left on this where you can get free shipping. Uh, and you can also get buy three, get one free. They never do a special like that. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633, 800-409-5633. Everybody needs this as part of their preparedness. You can also find it all at InfoWarsStore.com. has all the eFoods products and the same specials there. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633. And don't forget Infidel Body Armor made right here in America, superior to really anything else out there. So they're taking six rounds. It takes hundreds of rounds of even up to 308 caliber. They have all the different sizes and a bunch of other products. Infidel Body Armor, one word, dot com or 888-608-6605, 888-608-6605, Infidel Body Armor, dot com. Check them out today. And uh, also, please go to InfoWarsStore.com and get State of Mind, the new film. Uh, it's going to be shipping on the 15th, premieres on PrisonPlanet.tv the night of the 17th of July. So that's like 15 days away. You can, uh, it, it, it ends in the next two days. We sell out of the extra film, American Dream. We can give you free when you order it on DVD or Blu-ray, but you got to order now because that is going to sell out. That special will end in the next two days. InfoWarsStore.com and your purchases of the Pro Pure Water Filters, all of it, makes this broadcast possible. We'll be back in overdrive. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show. I want to give, give the phone number out to the military and police specifically. Homeland Security has now put out a public press release that Russian police and military are going to be here uh, advising in advance and helping search American citizens. 
Um, I mean, I told you that was coming. I mean, I've been to the urban warfare drills, but this has gone on forever. But they do this just to get everybody conditioned. And are, and are you agreeing with what I'm saying? Are you disagreeing? I'd like to hear from you. The toll-free number to join us, police and military only, 800-259-9231. And I'll go to you quickly because Griff's coming up in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to come back, cover some news briefly. And then I want to get your take on this. Uh, this is paramilitary training you've been given. In fact, will you guys print me the articles in the Wall Street Journal, but in a couple others, it was police train that citizens are insurgents. And, of course, that's only in high crime areas, but then it's in every area. It's all military. And then the public starts taking on the idea that you're the enemy as well. Uh, this is the plan. They put us into these roles, citizen and police, and then just condition everybody uh, to basically line up with each other and fight. I'd rather we wake up and realize what's happening. 800-259-9231. And again, I don't want to hear, oh, they're just giving us their advice on how they set up police states over there. I've been to the drills. I've put out films. It's on record. They're all free online. My four police state films showing foreign troops training to confiscate our guns and saying it's for America with the Marines and the Army. I've shown police state checkpoints with Army and Marines on highways in America. I've shown police chiefs admit foreign troops with the Delta Force practicing to attack U.S. cities and courthouses. And then the John Warner Defense Authorization Act, admitting it's for domestic operations. This is the reality, 800-259-9231. And we're going to go to break. This is a short segment and come back uh, and go to your phone calls, David in Hawaii and others that are patiently holding. I see the phone lines have almost loaded up with police and military. We have one phone line idle at 800-259-9231. But first, I'm going to cover and, and play the video here. All that he did was love me. Heartbreaking moment. Police shoot and kill dog that was defending owner when officers arrested him for filming them. And I would say the guy's filming while black. And is that why he got arrested? And the cops have M16s while they're out doing this, by the way. And the actual police, whatever they're doing, is about 60 yards away. They've got some cars blocking the streets. So the guy knows, you know, he's been, he's been in Fallujah trained. He doesn't get past that line. And they march over with their M16s, because he's got an evil cell phone camera, uh, and arrest him. And then his dog, with his leash tied to him, jumps out and runs over, and the cop shoots him. Absolutely amazing. But when a police dog gets shot coming to somebody's house, they have a funeral, shut down Houston and act like, act like, you know, George Washington had just died. So, see, it's all about turning your emotions on and off. When it's the government, oh, we have emotions, we love you, oh, thank God for you. And again, I'll tell the story uh, of being out there with a friend that has a boat on Lake Austin. There was nobody out there yesterday. Saw five boats, I saw the cops pull over the five boats. I saw two kayakers. I saw them go over and harass the kayakers. And when we drove by it, like 50 yards away, the cops were bugging their eyes out at us. We were sitting there very calmly looking at them. And then they pulled up behind us and were bugging their eyes out and looking real aggressive. I didn't stand up aggressively. I just stood there with a smile on my face, videotaping them. And that took the pleasure away. Then they all waved sheepishly. And again, those aren't bad men individually. They've been brought up that that's manly and that that's how you treat the American people. Because, you know, we're dangerous scum. we got to be kept in line for his safety. We're insurgents. Everyone's a criminal. Everyone's guilty until proven slave. Except for them. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. 
And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Elementary. There's a global corporate empire that is trying to get rid of national sovereignty incrementally. It owns and created the dominant media. And it's now getting everybody used to having checkpoints, being searched, foreign troops, Russian troops here, U.S. troops over there. The Army War College now teaches that they're a globalist group that serves the multinationals. We're here. We're inside of this. And then meanwhile... I saw a story yesterday about a cop getting in a woman's face, so she kissed him on the nose. They slammed her down to the ground and then charged her with assaulting them. Or somebody blows bubbles at a demonstration, and a bubble goes by a cop, so they slam her to the ground, charge them with assault. Or uh, what the woman in Virginia, where they have these liquor police, they come out with a LaCroix bottled water and cookie dough and, and tell her, uh, roll down her window. She goes to start the car so she can. They say, don't do that. They say, put your hands up. They say, open the door and put your hands up. They knock the windows out, slam her to the ground, charge her with assaulting them on video. And, and, and now they assault you, then you're charged and go to the gulag. And then I see this video. And again, this isn't anti-police. It's that you've been brainwashed. What you're doing is wrong. Cops in L.A. get out with M-16s. They've got a dozen police cars blocking the street. 
a guy's at the end of where they block the street videotaping. The cops come over and watch the full unedited video on Infowars.com. They put him in handcuffs, and it looks like the cop hits him in the face, does something to him. He you know, turns with his back to the camera, and then boom, looks like something happens. The dog jumps out of the window, the Rottweiler, runs over, and they shoot the Rottweiler. And now they're saying they did it for the man's safety. This is how they execute people. A lot of CIA guys, you've seen the famous case, what was he, Carney, down in uh, Houston. Famous CIA section chief. They get him out of the car, his hands are at his side, the cop just shoots him in the head. They're like, oh, that's a good thing. So the death squads are now operating. And most of them have been in heavy combat overseas. They've sat there with heavy machine guns at checkpoints. You've seen the entertainment videos where they just shoot up vehicles for fun. You've seen the death letters signed by the troops that have been ordered to kill all these people and then come home and commit suicide. I mean, we're in a lot of trouble, folks. All this is coming home to roost. The new enemy isn't Al-Qaeda. It's the conservative libertarians. And what a perfect plan. This was all sold to conservatives as a way to fight the extreme Muslims when the globalists run them. Now, let me show you another article, and we're going to our guest on this. This is how they handle it in the Ukraine, because they're not drinking fluoride over there, folks, U which lowers testosterone. Ukraine, police units stormed after brutal rape. Protesters hurled firebombs, stormed local police station unit in southern Ukraine after authorities refused to detain one of two police officers implicated in the brutal gang rape of a young woman. Well, I mean, I'm sure she deserved it. I'm being sarcastic, folks. Poor dog, poor lady. Residents of the town some 330 kilometers south of Kiev continue to rally outside the station uh, Tuesday, booing the local governor and vowing to continue their vigil until the officer is arrested. During the storming late Monday, protesters smashed windows, broke doors, and set fire. And, of course, it was the Ukrainians and Polish that finally started fighting the secret police. Tired of their daughters being raped, they killed most of the Russian secret police. So they won't roll over, and that, that, that's why they're called terrorists. Uh, very painful video to watch that dog up against, and dogs are smart too. They could tell this is like, you know, three cops with guns. The dog knows it's a weapon. You aim a squirt gun at a dog, it starts groveling. And that dog sees its daddy being drug away, so it goes over to protect him, and they killed it. And uh, they're going to make excuses and all, and they're going to make excuses when your bank accounts are taken. They're going to take excuses when you die of cancer from the vaccines. They're going to make excuses when Russians rape your children. It's not going to be mainly Russians, though. It's going to be Chinese that are meant to invade the U.S. That's in all the documents. That's why they're being given the Panama Canal and the Mexican ports and all of it. America is to be gutted one way or another. And you can bet the average cop out there will be side by side with Chinese troops and Mexican troops coming to your house. They'll do it in a minute because they're all being trained with them. Now, let's go to David in Hawaii. David, what do you think of all this today? Can you hear me? Yeah, you say you're in the Army, sir. Go ahead. Yes, I am. This is David Knight. I'm in about 23 years of experience. Uh, I just wanted to say, make one comment, and then I wanted to um, uh, say something about the video clip you just showed, and, and if I have a chance, say something about vaccinations in the military. But, but that video clip you just showed of the police officers, I mean, that's an example of, of kind of an extreme uh, um, um, activity that's going on within the police departments. We do exchanges with other military programs all the time, but to bring in Russian troops, to bring in foreign soldiers, not only is it unconstitutional in the United States of America, but what you just showed in that video clip is exactly what you're going to get with foreign forces patrolling our streets. Well, we're getting it with our police who've been, but here's the issue. You can say you train with foreign troops in case there's a hostage situation in an NATO country. I've been to the drills. They say it's one thing, but really it was for the occupation of the Bay Area and gun confiscation. I was able to get interrogations on video and have Marines off record admit what was going on. And then the Colonel Love freaked out when he found out I had it on tape. That's because it's meant to acclimate you. This is an exchange programs, exactly. Now it's actually running events against American citizens. What do you make of that? Exactly. And that's, that's my point. That we, you know, whether other training operations were designed to uh, um, um, acclimate people, that, that could be. But what, what you just showed, that video clip of the gentleman with his dog getting shot and him being detained, that is. That is what you're going to get with foreign forces. We are, the U.S. military and police force are way more constrained with regards to how we handle people and civilians than foreign governments are. And what you just showed right there, and that little message that you put out about uh, the people getting raped and everything like that, that's what you're going to get with foreign forces. And it's absolutely unconstitutional 
you know, I'm retired now, but I mean, I, I couldn't stomach that if I went active. Well, for people that, that don't know, happened. George Washington hung people that raped or even abused people, and the British were wild, but he knew just from a position of morale and with the public PR that the, the French, the British, they separate sides, allies and enemies, remarked on the comportment of U.S. forces. So from the beginning, the U.S. military was known for not torturing, not that all changed in Vietnam, obviously, but now we're known as, as, as getting very, very bad, according to what I read. You, you've been in the middle of it, but I've also seen what's been admitted my whole issue is absolutely in Mexico, in Ukraine. I mean, the cops, if they see a woman, they rape her if they want to. North Korea, same deal. We are becoming like that. I mean, what do you think of the L.A. police coming over to the guy? That's an unedited video. He's just standing there videotaping him, so they come over and arrest him and then kill his dog. Well, it goes, it goes right back to what, what the coverage of, of what happened in Boston. I mean, you know, you're right, the sheep. Dave Grossman calls him the sheep. I mean, bottom line is, is that... The guy was just taking a video, just like all those people in Boston cowering in their homes and just waiting to get, get their homes kicked in and so they get taken out. I mean, me and my wife watch the TV. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Listen, the cops, yeah, it was a game warden and a regular, uh, I think it was Travis County, on the river yesterday, and they were driving around with their jaws stuck out, bugging out, look like, like, like they were bad guys in a movie. And I just got up and started, you know, basically laughing at them, and then they waved and drove off. But I don't understand the mindset where people bug their eyes out at you and treat you like, like, because, you know, they treated me like the few times I was in juvenile hall for fights I'd get in and the cops get there and, you know, somebody's going in a hospital, you go to jail even if you're found not guilty later or they drop the charges. I've experienced being in jail. And the way the police act now in general is like, I'm a, I'm a perpetrator. I'm already locked up in jail. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, they really act aggressive. And it just it, it's, it's what I've experienced in third world countries. It's why I don't go to third world countries. My parents drug me to all sorts of third world countries when I was a kid because they wanted to go see stuff. And I didn't like it when I was a kid. I don't like it now. What do you have to say to that? No, I know. I'm spot on. I know that um, all the people around the, uh, the continent of the U.S. are all like, man, this, isn't going to foreign countries so cool, so cool? And I said, hey, I've been to a lot of those foreign countries, and it ain't cool. Nice states to see, watch them on TV, but you don't want to go to these other countries because what they do to people, innocent people, it, 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 it's, it's horrendous. So I'm with you. No, oh, yeah, they target to innocent people. Too. And to see America that used to be better, it really was, to now see us acting like, Mexico or Honduras, the stuff I've seen, is just very upsetting. I'll, I'll be honest, though. I I smile at them and show nice body language. I videotape police at checkpoints in Mexico. I videotape stuff like that. And then they kind of look at you, but when you're not scared, then they just kind of go, oh, well, that guy must be in charge or something. But what's sad is when a family grovels, then they are mean to him. And as soon as the cops tell the guy leave and he does, then they come after him. It, 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 I think he should have argued with him and said, hey, it's my First Amendment. Then the dog would have seen that body language. In my experience, if you grovel with bad cops, you're going to jail. And, well, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't have the experience with the, actually arguing with cops, but I do know, I mean, I've had confrontations, you know, over the years, and I will tell you that groveling is never the answer because, uh, you know, the wolves, so to speak, aggressive people are going to feed on you being weak. And that's exactly what happened. The guy started complying with them. And it was like, dude, I didn't do nothing. I would have got in the car and drove off. But, I mean, nobody complied with them. And, and for them to just come down the street like that was completely out of line. There was no reason for them to do what they did. Well, all, exactly. I'm going to run to some other callers. God bless you, sir. I mean, I know this. Most cops around here are nice and friendly. But it's whatever ones they've got that are interfacing with the general public. In the old days, you called a cop if something was going on. Or, or if they were driving around and saw something, they dealt with it. Now it's all about general public. It's all about we've done something wrong. And for me to look at us the way that those cops were looking at other people, I would, I mean, if, if, if I was driving up to somebody, looking at them, the way these cops were looking at families with kids and stuff, I, I mean, I look at somebody like this if I'm coming to beat the brains out. I mean, I mean, I mean if I've got my jaw out and my eyes open up and I'm bugging my eyes out and trying to, I mean, I, I don't try to intimidate people. I mean, if I'm looking like that, you are about to get stomped on. And so somebody starts looking at me like that. I'm like that dog. I immediately go, mmm, and start, you know, thinking, I, I just can't help it. I'm like, I just can't help it anymore. That's why I will not go to third world countries. Because when I've watched Mexican troops and police sit there and pull over the bus and grab the money from the bus driver and laugh at them and the guy's crying 
and the cops are all arrogant and sticking their chest out and, and like enjoying their criminality. And then I see that in American cops. I just start going, I, you know, mm, mm, mm. I just can't handle it. All right, let's go ahead and take another call here. Propaganda machine who's in the Air Force from FEMA Region 9. Uh, formerly, what area were, well, were you in? You're now under Globalist Occupied Region 9. Uh, what area is that? That's up in... Uh, that's, uh, no, Region 9, I think, is uh, West Coast. That's right, yeah, yeah. Right yeah, there's two, two areas, yeah. One of them's, yeah, I guess you're the Southwest Coast, and the North is Region 10, right? Uh, yeah, I think you're right about that. It's Anyways, good to know your regions. Good, good, good to know you're under FEMA occupation. Go ahead. Anyways, hey, everything you, you've been talking about is right on, but I think for a lot of folks, for the average folks, the people that are recently awake, it's maybe a little overwhelming, and um, I wanted to suggest something that's maybe not so overwhelming, you know, something to wake other people up that is um, uh, a movie that's been out for a long time, a movie that I think is older than you and about as old as I am. It's uh, a movie from the 60s, and it's called uh, Fahrenheit 451. And it's it's a pretty interesting flick. It's got uh, it's got a German actor in the lead, and it also has uh, Julie Christie. Yeah, that's um, a book by uh, Bradbury, right? Book by Ray Bradbury, but this is the Hollywood version of it. No, I've seen it. And hey, a remake yeah. of it is uh, Equilibrium. That one I have not seen, but anyways, this one I actually watched with my family. You know, my mom is older. Uh, this was this was kind of a great introduction to her to to, uh, to visit some of these things. She had never seen this movie, and it happened about the time of um, uh, some of the follow-up from the Boston bombing. And by watching this with her, with some of the stuff that was in there, I was able to kind of you know it it, it kind of inoculated her from some of the official spin that came because you saw in that movie how things are played out. I don't want to give it away for anybody, but. That movie from the mid '60s is is I think ripe for a reviewing right now. So absolutely, maybe, God maybe. bless you. I'm going to jump to others. Anthony in New York says he's police. Are you current or retired, Anthony? Go ahead, Anthony. Are you there, buddy? Uh yeah. How you doing, Alex? Good. Are you um, currently on the force or retired? Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm still working. And I'd just like to make a comment about um the police shooting, the video that you were just talking about. Yes. Okay, um, just to let you know, a, a couple bad apples uh, could definitely spoil a whole bunch. Um, I did see the guy um, videotaping the two police officers, in my opinion. I, I don't want to Monday night quarterback it, but <laughs> you could simply wave and ignore people videotaping because that's what you're allowed to do. Um, you know, for the most part, the police officer that drew his gun and shot the dog, I did see the dog jump, but you know what? It's not, it, the streets aren't the okay corral. Um, some people, um, to pull and draw and shoot a dog like that, um, a bullet can definitely ricochet off of... Off oh, yeah, that was pretty dangerous, that close. Well, for those that don't know, around here they shoot dogs if they just bark at them. I think once they escalated the dogs leaping, I know why they shot it. But why did they why did they immediately grab the guy? Why did they start manhandling him when they could see a dog was hanging on a window? I would have said go put your dog up. Even if they were going to arrest him uh for no reason. I mean, we do have a right to videotape police the Supreme Court's ruled as long as it doesn't interfere with their duties. And I don't think 60 yards away he was doing that. Yes, sir. I agree with you. Um but I do definitely think that there should be some kind of retraining because like I said, um, when you get into the police department, Alex, um, we're just all normal people. Okay. Uh, just like you. Um, a lot of times we don't talk to the news because everything we say or do is misconstrued, um, by the media, uh, to make us look bad. Sure. When that, that, that's why a lot of times when you say, Oh, this, you know, they, the police just don't talk or they just give orders because when the news is there, a lot of times things are cut and, and, and put on. The no, news no, I know how the don't. mainstream media is, you know, and I understand that. That's why I said I don't want to just be in a fight with the police because that's what they want is an us against them, another form of balkanization. But I'm saying the training, the direction is authoritarian. They want to make the American police forces authoritarian. Real quick, what is your take on the Russian troops to not be part of a drill, but to actually oversee 
security operations against the American people. Yeah, it's bad news. <laughs> yeah. I, Did you I, ever think I they'd openly see. announce that? No, no, absolutely not. I, I don't really see. I mean, I'm not military. Um, so, but to, if I had to work side by side with a, a, a Russian uh, soldier, I would hope that he would have, um, you know, the, the same views that I have. We, we all have families. We all want our streets and our people protected. I know, but it's um, unconstitutional to have our military on the streets much. See, they've already gotten us used to that. It's, now it's going to be foreign troops. See how this works? Yes. I mean, here's yeah, the deal. We, we've got to ask, how many orders will we follow? How far will we go? Is there any order that, 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 that citizens w won't follow? And is there any order police won't follow? I mean, I mean, will we let foreign banks take our bank accounts like Cyprus? They're saying Congress is having hearings on that. You know, that's my point. Is there any order you won't follow? Oh, well, you know, we all have to use our own um, common sense when it comes to uh, orders. Um, because I, I really have never, I mean, if I got an order that I felt that wasn't something that I, that I felt was justified, then I would just say I'm not going to do it because I, I don't feel that that's the way I want to I want to do it. You you have uh, discretion unless there's a cr something criminal going on. Um, I hear you. Police need to support the constitution. The march. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.